God bless you, my beloved. Thank you for joining us today. We are Abundant Grace Church. I am Bishop Ramon Di Maria, and I'm the senior pastor of the church. This is Wednesday night, and tonight is our Bible study. Our topic this evening is victory and death. Our scriptures will be from the book of Romans, chapter 5, verses 1 and 2. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace, wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. My beloved, life is not just a journey to death, but is a journey to one of two eternal places, which are heaven or hell. In heaven, all evil is kept out, and good is kept in. Heaven is an eternal day that knows no sunset, whereas hell is an eternal night that knows no sunshine. Which of the two are you heading for? Be honest with yourself. Ask yourself this question and answer honestly. If you are born again, you are justified and are on the road to the great celestial city. Knowing this, you are to have every hope that your death will be victorious despite the discomfort and pain of the misery associated with dying. Many people die in pain, but that pain leaves when they leave this life if they are in Christ. If they are not in Christ, that pain follows them into eternal damnation and much greater, and that pain will last for eternity. So my beloved, die joyfully and delightedly by looking to Jesus Christ, who is the author and finisher of your faith, which he is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the great I Am and rest in justification by faith alone in Jesus Christ, to the glory of God alone. Let me read the verses again and comment. Romans chapter 5, verses 1 and 2. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand, and rejoice in hope of the glory of God of God. Dearly beloved, when we as Christians die, there shall be no more death. You can read that in the book of Revelation chapter 21 and verse 4. We shall ascent in triumph, glory, majesty, peace, and joy into the heavens where we will be blessed as one undivided body of Christ and his church. In heaven, Christ will be present and he will present us as his bride to his father without spot or wrinkle in soul or body, to be installed permanently into heaven, to dwell forever and ever. Romans chapter 7 and verse 17 says, For the Lamb which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them, and shall lead them unto living fountains of waters, and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. What a blessed time that will be for all of us that have repented and professed Jesus Christ as our Savior and Lord. He will be the one that says, Enter in to my rest. Beloved, it will be a delightful, victorious, holy, happy, and eternal day when we shall ever be with our Lord Jesus Christ. For he is the one that was crucified, died, buried, and rose from the dead in victory on the third day, and ascended to our Heavenly Father, and is now sitting at his right hand in the place of power and majesty, from where he shall come to judge the dead and the living. Jesus is going to return one day. Make no mistake about it. Don't doubt that he is going to return. He will return the first time in the rapture. He will call us up. All those that died in Christ will rise first, and all who are still living will be changed in an instant at the trump of God, my beloved. What a great day that will be, and we shall be with the Lord forever. Then he will return again at the second coming, and my beloved, that will be a great day too. But the great day, I believe, is the rapture. Are you looking for him today? To be caught up in the rapture means to be esteemed in heaven and do great things for our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ. Those that are left behind will suffer the wrath of God. Those that are here for his second coming and our Christians will surely go with him, but they will be as priests and ministers in his kingdom. My beloved, strive to go in the rapture. Watch the signs. Be looking for the return of Jesus Christ. Keep occupied in the work 
of the Lord. Now is no time to slack off. Look at the times right now. They are evil. Christ wants you to be a light during this evil generation, during these dark days, especially in our country with what is going on, but also in the world in general, which is evil. You know, there are being people saved right now because of the labor of other Christians. Are you willing to go to take the gospel of our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ to the lost? I pray that you are. My beloved, I know there are saved people listening to this teaching, and there are lost people listening to this teaching. I want to ask you a question. Do you possess the fruits of justifying faith? If so, you are no longer an enemy of God and Christ. While sinners, we were rebels against God, but we came to the cross of Jesus Christ and repented, and he forgave us and called us his own. If you have never received Christ as your Savior and Lord, you are in rebellion against God and Christ. But that can end today. My beloved, the blessed peace that Christ can give you, that is peace with God, can bring peace to your soul and open the door for you to be in heaven with Jesus Christ, along with me and every other Christian. And if you would like to receive Christ as your Savior and Lord today, I want to pray with you. I want to lead you in a prayer. You must be sorry for your sins. You must repent of your sins. You must believe that Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. You must believe that he was crucified, died, buried, rose from the dead on the third day, ascended into heaven, and is now sitting at the right hand of God the Father in a place of power and majesty, and from that place he will come to judge the dead and the living. Today, if you truly would like to do that today, please pray this prayer with me and mean it from your heart. Father God, in Jesus' name, I heard the teaching this evening, victory and death from the book of Romans, chapter 5, verses 1 and 2. I am convicted of my sinfulness. I know that if I died today, I would go to hell, and I don't want to go there. Therefore, I am repenting of my sins. I believe that Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven, that he was crucified, died, buried, rose from the dead on the third day, ascended into heaven, is now sitting at the right hand of God the Father in a place of all power and majesty from where he shall come to judge the dead and the living. I believe this today. I'm sorry for my sins. I ask you to forgive me of my sins and save me today. And with your help, I will continue to grow in faith in Jesus Christ. And I will be with you when I leave this life. And I thank you, Father God, for sending Jesus Christ to die for my sins. And I now confess that he is my Savior and Lord. And I confess this in the name of my Savior and Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. My beloved, if you said that prayer and truly meant it from your heart, allow me to be the first to welcome you into the kingdom of God. Now, what I would like you to do is go to a Bible preaching, teaching church, one that preaches from the full Bible, from the book of Genesis to the book of Revelation, all 66 books. Get an audience with the pastor. Ask him to anoint you with oil, to pray with you, to pray for you, and to baptize you in water by full immersion in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Ask him to mentor you and give you a Bible if you don't have one. Then what I would like you to do is contact me at abundant.grace at att.net. You may follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and Spreaker. Thank you for joining us today. And I pray that God bless you and keep you. And thank you to those that receive Christ as their Savior and Lord. Don't forget, email me at abundant.grace at att.net. God bless you, my beloved.